crispy. Hey, what's good, viewer? This is Spanky. Today I've got the Ant-Man series, Build-A-Figure, Ultron, Marvel Legend, Infinite Series, Marvel's Wasp. On the back here, we get a little description of what the figure is supposed to look like. You can pause that and read that if you'd like. And down here, we see the rest of the figures in the set and the Ultron Build-A-Figure Wave. Of course, I will be reviewing all of them, so stay tuned to my channel and check them out. Other than that, let's open it up. So here's a look at the Marvel Wasp figure. If she falls off this little stand I got her on, she's not standing very well because she's got a, a loose knee joint. But anyways, the sculpt looks fantastic. I'm very pleased with the way her hair came out there. With the darker shades of uh, brown and the black popping out that detail. That's a really, really nice hair sculpt she's got going on there. The eyes on mine came out a little weird, but not too bad. Uh, the wings, they came in four separate pieces. You just plug them into the holes. They're pretty basic stuff. I don't really need to go over that with you. As you can see, my face mold came out pretty well. The eyes are okay. On the back, look at those wings. Those look freaking awesome. You can even see like the, I guess we'll call them veins, just for lack of a better word, because I don't know what else to call them. I don't know the official term. The veins of the wings, and they're, they're see-through, or they're, what's the other word? Uh, we'll just call them see-through. They're see-through wings. I know there's a special word for that plastic. Translucent. Got it. Translucent plastic. And then she comes with those hand sculpts that we saw on the Scarlet Witch. She feels small. Just a lot of black throughout. I like that they added a little gold trim down here at the bottom of her shoes. That looks really good. Kudos for that, Hasbro. And then as she swings around here, see the detail on her boot And then we can see that they uh, pinned some gold on her hands. Then we get the gold on the body. It looks really good. Uh, not too many paint mishaps, just a little bit there in her abs. But overall, the paint came out really well. Take a look at the articulation of Wasp here. Her head can go back that far, they can go up down that far, it looks pretty far down. Then we get the exorcist going on there. Her wings are articulated of course, each one can move separately. And it's just a, basically, a, I don't think it's going to come out, but it's just a peg that sticks in there. And this is also on a peg that sticks into the other wings, pretty basic stuff. You can fold it down like that, it looks pretty good. Uh, I'm not too happy with the fact that these stick out, but it's uh, it's okay. I wish it didn't stick out, but I guess that's what they had to do as a necessary evil. Arms will go up this high, go down, you get the 360, but they will get stopped by the wings. Single jointed elbow, you get the wrist hinge, and then we get a swivel. Like all female Marvel Legends, not much going on with the ab crunch or diaphragm joint we got going here. It will swivel a little bit, absolutely no waist swivel. The legs will go up that high. Legs will only go back that far. We get a thigh swivel, double jointed knee, and then we get the ankle swivel with on the uh, ankle rocker joint. Unfortunately, on mine, this knee is really loose. It's not really loose, but it's loose enough to where the weight of the wing is just going to keep on making it go back. It's kind of unfortunate. I'll probably have to try to fix it myself. So hopefully yours don't come out like that. Overall though, I am very pleased with this figure. I think Hasbro did a very good job with this sculpt. And the way the face came out, I'm not getting any googly eyes or anything weird like that. I like the way the wings came out, of course. Uh, I, I do recommend it. It's a lot better than the Toy Biz Wasp figure, and that's for sure. And to prove that, watch Glenn's video. I'm not sure what his whole YouTube name is. I just know every time his video starts, he goes, Hey everybody, it's Glenn! And I really like watching his videos. And he does comparisons. And he did one of this figure in the Toy Biz. And this is clearly the, the winner compared to the Toy Biz one. It's, it's a way better than the Toy Biz one. So if you're looking for a Wasp figure, this is the one to get. And plus, if you build them all, you get a cool bath. So check out Big Bad Toy, Score, Toy Store in the description below. So you can buy this figure and all the rest of the figures in this wave along with the... Uh, Spider-Man wave coming out, and then we have the Hulkbuster wave. You can get all of those Marvel Legends at Big Bad Toy Store. Other than that, that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, later.